Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Sherry and I'm so glad you're with me today. Today I have for you a kind of a cool video. Um, a while back on a live, I hauled some stuff from Ulta and part of that haul was this. A while back on the haul, I talked about this product and I told you that I was going to do a video exclusively on this. And what we're talking about is the Whoosh Beauty, the fold out face. It says complete daily makeup routine. And I actually got this as a platinum perk or a diamond perk and I got it for free with any online purchase. Um, it retails for $45 though. So this is what it looks like inside. And just to give you some information here, it says at Woosh Beauty, we are focused on application and believe in better. We are dedicated to making makeup smarter, faster, and more convenient without ever compromising quality because results matter most. Instant, easy, and amazing. Yes, it's possible. XO, Bobby, and Andrea or Andrea. And this is what it looks like inside and it comes with a brush. So I'm gonna open it and talk to you about it. I have number two medium light. It does come according to your skin tone. The only, I think only three were available whenever I chose this. They had light, light, medium, and deep, but there may be more. And I know that Woosh Beauty, I have trouble saying that, Woosh Beauty has their own website, but I had never heard of this brand before. This is what it looks like. It's kind of a mirrored cardboard. It opens with a little um, stretchy tab. Inside it's got some writing and this is one side. It says pro girl noun, someone who supports rather than competes with other women. So I like the message of this as well. This is covered by plastic, which I'm going to leave there just for the sake of protecting the product inside. Um, it's got a tutorial with favorite eye look showing you exactly where to put everything. But let me quickly go through everything that's in here. We'll start on this side. Um, we've got four eyeshadows here. This and this are powders, like highlighting powder, contouring powder. These are two shades of concealer. So that's all that. And then on this side, we've got two blushes, a matte, and a shimmer, and a highlight. And these say blending. So not really sure. I'm guessing you could use this to blend out Contour, you could use this um, to blend out anything on your eyes, maybe use this as a real light uh, crease transition shade. <laughs> Anyways, I swatched all these for everybody on the live and they're beautiful. And I'm not going to do that now just because I've already done that on a video and you can check that out. I'll, I'll link it up there, the live where I was talking about this. But anyway... On top of that, and one thing I did want to point out is that it gave you a little plastic sleeve to stick to this, to put over the cream products, <laughs> so that you don't end up getting any of the excess powders into the cream and changing the colors. So, I like that. It seems like they've thought of lots of details. Now, along with this came a brush, and I can't remember what they called it. Let me see if it says so on the box. And I'm going to actually look real quick at the ingredients because now because of my friend Nicole, I'm always looking for Carmine and I like to tell her if it has it in it. Does, it does say it's cruelty free. It's um, coming out of New York. No animal testing. Um, yeah, so I'm looking for Carmine. At least in the eyeshadows, it's not there. I do not see it. So that's good news for Nicole anyway. So, here's the brush. It came in two pieces like this, but I'm going to show it to you put together and show you the different elements of it. Um, you know, this is a dream for somebody who travels and needs to have everything in one spot. It's got a foundation brush on one side. Yes, it's small, but it works. This can be used for contour, blush, highlight even if you needed to. You could use this for highlight if you needed to. Inside, it has a little piece that fits into both sides. It has kind of like um, a dome brush, kind of an outer crease brush, and maybe a pointed concealer or packing brush for the lid. So I think most things can be done with this brush, but then when you put them back together, 
it becomes just a dual sided brush. So I think that's really cool. And I'm not sure that this wouldn't be something that just separate from the set that I wouldn't mind having in my purse. Like if I had a little makeup bag, this would take care of most emergencies, right? So I like that. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put on my foundation, go all the way until the concealer, which I'm going to use everything in here. I'm going to try to use mostly this. I may have to add in a few things, but I basically want to see, can I get an entire look from this palette that looks good, that I'm going to be satisfied with. Even if I can't, I think it's cool to have this many elements in one spot. So if you do have to supplement it with something else, just toss you know a translucent powder in your bag or one of those things, and you've got it all. So even if all of these things don't work, it's still a really nice palette and I think would be awesome for people who travel or want to have something in their purse that has everything. So, and for me as a teacher, I could have this in my desk and it could take care of any emergencies. So, all right, so I'm back. Uh, I did put on my foundation. I don't know like why I do this, but every once in a while I just straight up forget to use something that I use every day of my life which today was professional. So thankfully I used that spray, which is also a primer spray, but I'm not sure I got the fine line and pore filling that I usually desire. But I'm gonna go in with these concealers right there. There's a darker one and a lighter one. I think I'm gonna use this, the darker of the two right here and just tap this under my eye and see what we got for coverage here. And I'm tempted, see I usually use a corrector, but it's like I want to see what it does without any of that stuff. I may go to church looking like a hot mess. But this color is um, going to be good for my under eye, but I do see that like I want to mix in some of the light. I'm going to use a different finger so I don't mix them up, but I'm going to put in some of the light with it. It's really creamy and it's not tugging or anything like that. And I think you can probably, at least for a light medium skin tone, obviously the other ones are going to be geared towards whatever skin tone you buy. But the little sticker came off. I'm going to use what I ordinarily use, which is my little Real Techniques blender. And just try to smooth it out a bit. I'm feeling like you know, you get so spoiled on shape tape that everything else seems like you barely put anything on. And I don't want to abandon it already, but I am pretty spoiled on shape tape. I'm going to see if it'll build up. You know, people who don't have as much of an issue with under eye darkness as I do, this would probably be fine. So if you like something like a NARS Radiant Cream of Creamy concealer or the Fit Me Fit Me concealer, which are pretty lightweight, you would probably be pretty happy with this. And um, yeah, I'm gonna try to go into the product with my blender to see if that'll add a little bit more. It's it feels like it's kind of sinking in, which is not a bad thing. Like it's emollient. But it is getting kind of caked up now, and I don't like that. Um, yeah. Not loving the way it looks. I'm wondering if I should just go ahead and try some shape tape over it. It's probably going to be a cakey, gunky mess. But, you know, trying to salvage it, I guess. And I'm not going to put much. I'm just going to put a couple of dots in my darkest area and see if I can't get a little bit of coverage there. Looks a little better. And since there's not a loose powder to set my under eye, but there are, there is a highlighting powder, I think I'm going to use that with a brush and then go over top of it with my blender that's a little damp just to kind of stamp it in there. I got that everywhere. Okay. I am using, and I dug it out just for this because I love the shape of it, and this is the e.l.f. I think it's a, I don't know what it's called, it doesn't have a name on it. I always called it a tapered blending brush. 
So I'm going to go into that shade right there, which is for highlighting. I'm just going to tap it lightly under my eye to set that. And I have not done that literally in like years, so this feels so bizarre. I didn't ever like the way it looked. But the powder is really silky and nice. Um, I'm kind of wondering if I couldn't go in. I, it, I feel like I'm going to mess up the pan if I go in with my wet blender. Like make it, I don't know, mess up the surface of it. I don't know how to say it, but there's that. So I'm going to use my big powder brush and I'm going to just go between these two blenders and just set the rest of my face. So far the powders feel really nice. And it does like just the combination of these two. This hair is giving me all kinds of trouble. Um, the mixing of the two doesn't seem like it's too light or too dark and adding too much color it's kind of translucent just like I like it and then I'll go back in with bronzers and stuff and take care of putting dimension back alright I'm all set there we go okay next step it says contours um, I guess I'm gonna try to use that as a bronzer. I don't really want to though. I kind of want to use that as a contour and use something else for for um, bronzer. Cannot come up with the words today. I think I'm going to try this brush with the contour shade and kind of draw out my cheek line. Holy shite. Okay, hang on. I almost said a cuss word. Holy cow, holy cow. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have gone in that heavy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that doesn't look good. I'm going to go and get my better bronzer and see if I can't kind of save the day with that. And, you know, keep in mind also that this is a first impression. This happens when you're trying out makeup. It doesn't always work right the first time. I'm going to use this brush, though, and see how it does for bronzer. Ugh, I really don't. I am such a creature of habit. I try to do something different. Like, I almost always hate it. And I shouldn't make a judgment yet, but I don't really love this brush. I get annoyed when I'm watching people's videos and all they say is negative stuff about a product, but it's like, you want me to be honest. But it also, you know, there's something to be said about how you're in your own routine and you're used to something like a brush and this feels so wrong because it is wrong it's wrong <laughs> see how lovely that is see how beautiful that is see how nice that blends everything and it's just the perfect size and shape for my face I've been using this brush from Real Techniques it's a multitask brush I've been using it this hair is ugh. For like two years. Like once I find something that works, why stray from it? I mean, if every once in a while I'll try something and occasionally I replace something, but very infrequently. All right, I'm gonna try that brush one more time for blush. I'm gonna go in with this pinky coral color right there. I'm gonna color switch this brush. Let's see what happens with this. That's nice and pigmented. It has a nice little sheen to it. It's a pretty color. Remind me to put my camera down when I do my eyes so I don't go out of frame. That's a pretty color. Oh my gosh, you guys, my under eyes are a hot mess. 
Can you see the creasing and the gathering in my lines? Ugh. I may have to bring Laura Mercier to the rescue. But yeah, I like that. And then I'm going to go in with my fan brush into the highlight, which I think is going to be beautiful. It's swatched beautiful anyway. It is very pretty. It's pretty light, but it's it's pretty. Can you see that? Woo! Very blinding. But I like that. Yes. The dogs outside are having a barking contest as usual. I don't like the way my face looks, though, guys, at all. The funny part is I'll be all subconscious and crazy about it, and nobody else will even notice that I've done anything different, right? So I'm going to get my Laura Mercy. I'm going to go under here. It's so caked up and gunky that it's not even funny. I'm going to try to set it at least with some more mercy and see if it'll uh, just a little bit. Because I at least want it, I mean, even if it's going to be crepey and crazy looking, at least it'll be set and not be creasing all up and looking absolutely disgusting. Okay, that seemed to help a little bit, but y'all, I don't know. I also feel like my face isn't set. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Peach Perfect. Yep, my head, forehead's a creasy mess too. Oh, that made it way worse. Good God, you guys. I'm going to look crazy. Okay. My forehead from doing that it looks like the foundation is separating yeah <sighs> yeah so I yeah put my camera down so you don't have to remind me now but I'm gonna use the Smashbox 24 hour uh, photo finish shadow primer I haven't used it in a long time I have been stuck in painterly paint potville and haven't used any other eye primers in the longest but I remember this used to be my holy grail that I wouldn't use anything but this and if you have an event or something that you really need your eyeshadow to stay like in one spot and not move and look vibrant and beautiful all day I'm telling you what guys this is the bomb you cannot rub it or it gets kind of this weird look and texture but if you pat it it's beautiful and set it with some translucent which I probably already have on this brush I'm gonna go back in and use that little setting powder thing and make sure it's set nice and matte I think maybe once I get my whole face on and I use some setting spray I think that might help with all the weird textures on my face that always seems to do that even with the ones that I like and the fact that I didn't put any professional on wasn't a good plan. But it's whatever, right? Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to go put on my eyebrows, and then I'll come back and we'll do the eyes. I really do like the highlighter, though. It's super pretty. And I do like the blush, too. Even though one side looks really pink and the other side doesn't so much. I'll be back. Okie dokie. So my eyebrows are on. I had the hardest time. I'm telling you, it's like, it felt like trying to put eyebrow a product over foundation that hasn't been set. It just didn't want to, but they're there at least. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Revolution Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray because maybe that'll make some of this crepey weirdness on my forehead look better. We'll see. I don't even think that you guys can see how yuck it looks, but... Anyways, we're going to go from here. Do your magic setting spray. Nah. 
<laughs> yeah. I do like the highlighter. And I just dropped this and it landed on the corner of my one of my MAC eyeshadow palettes. And yeah. Yeah. Anyways, okay. We're going to try the eyeshadow. I'm going to use this for my crease color because as you can see, there's just, there's a light matte, a shimmery kind of champagne-y, a shimmery brown and a dark black. I'm just going to go in with this for my transition. I'm going to use a Morphe, Morphe E28. Maybe smooth that, that giant divot that I just made. It's definitely not a transition color. Maybe I'll go into that lighter um, one that says blender. Yeah, this one. Chill it out a tad. Maybe the two of them mixed would have been best. It's at least giving me some definition. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just go in with the contour color to begin with and then I'll come back and mix it. A lot of kick up that I'm having to blow off. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to stop. I'm going to go in with my finger into the shade shine the one that I anyways yeah shine so it looks like on my finger I'm just gonna put it across my lid hmm I'm gonna grab a MAC 242-esque kind of brush. This one is the Morphe, it's just a Morphe concealer brush, but there's no number on it. I'm gonna try to build up some pigmentation. That's working a lot better. Probably be even better with some MAC Fix Plus. But since everything else is so subtle, I don't know that I want to build that up too much, actually. I'll use that for an inner corner highlight, too, a little bit. I'm going to color switch that and go into the shade Base. <laughs> All about that base, about that base, no trouble. But it's not even that kind of base, it's a B-A-S-E base. To highlight my brow bone. I'm going to take a small brush. This is a Makeup Geek blended defined crease brush and I'm going to go into that and that and go under the lower lash line with it just for some definition there, some light definition. Back into the contour shade because it's not really showing much. I'm going to use this same brush and just take a tiny bit of this black on the outer corner. See if I can't add a little definition there. Um, not doing a heck of a lot. I'm 
going to find one of my Wayne Goss blenders, a little one. This is a number 19. Tap lightly into that black and try to blend this a little bit. I'm going to dip into the Define, it's kind of a mauve or plummy brown, see if that'll do anything. <laughs> Not really. Okay, um, I give. Isn't it always the way though, you guys, that something that's free especially at Ulta in those kind of places. If they're going to give a $45 palette away free, um, there's a reason. I don't think I look terrible, but I definitely do not look my best. Not even close. So, um, my opinion is this is not Sherry approved. It does not get my check mark of approval because it's just not great. Um, yeah. I have a face on and I'm presentable and I can go out in public, but I know how much better I could look and it's way better than this. Uh, who would this be good for? Maybe somebody who's just starting out in makeup and doesn't really know the difference between something that's good and something that's not. Um, the eyeshadows are so uh, not pigmented to the point where you don't, you're don't you not going to make a huge mistake that you can't blend out because you have to build it up for like 18 years for anything to show. Um, I didn't use the eye brushes on here which I probably should have but I didn't like the face brushes so I just kind of abandoned this part of the way through so bummer right I was excited because I thought it would be really good just based on the finger swatches which shows you that finger swatches don't mean jack if other than you know maybe finding the essence of the shade or those sort of things so I'm gonna go ahead put on some eyeliner and some mascara that will make this look better um, and yeah, maybe go do something with my hair and be back and I'll give you some final thoughts, but I pretty much already told you what I think about it, right? All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Uh, since my eyes were like lackluster to me, I had to put on a bright lip. So this is the Bare Minerals Statement Matte in Juicy and it's just a beautiful pinky coral color for summer. I love it. So I'm going to quickly go back through here, tell you what I think about each element um, another person this might be good for is a teenager who's just getting started with makeup. So yeah, somebody who is a makeup connoisseur who knows what good quality products are is not going to be satisfied with this. I can almost guarantee it. So going through here, um, eyeshadows just, you know, didn't blend well. The pigmentation was inconsistent. Um, there's not really enough colors. There's not really a transition. That didn't work very well for a transition. The black didn't show up. The brown didn't show up. Mm. The concealer, ugh, it looks terrible. It was, you know, very emollient and nice, but it didn't cover anything. So in order to get any coverage, I had to build it up, which made it gunky and cakey and gross. And then when I put the shape tape on top of it, it made it even worse. Um, shape tape with this setting powder alone, I don't know. But it didn't work well with the combination that I had. Um, the contour color might have been nice if I was using my brush. I'm not a fan of either side of this. I didn't even try the inside because I abandoned it. So not happy with the brush. Um, the contour color, like I said, might be okay, but I have really good contour colors that I love. So I'm not going to come just for that. Um, I didn't use this one. I did use this one. It's, it looks okay. It's not too bad, but it was very pigmented, way different than the other ones. Um, I used these to blend out some of the eyeshadow. I tried to use that to lighten up some of the contour. Highlight was beautiful. Check this out. It's super pretty, and it looks really pretty on my cheeks, too. But overall, I'm just not impressed. And definitely for the makeup connoisseur, pass, you know, it's a pass for you. If you, if you trust my judgment, it's a pass for you. So I'm going to take a few pictures of myself making ugly faces at this for my thumbnail and then I'm gonna go to church so I'm gonna go ask Jesus to forgive whoever made this <laughs> anyways that was completely corny but yeah repentance is necessary <laughs>
Anyways, it was fun to try it. It's always fun to try new things. You never know where there's going to be a hidden gem, right? So there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me today for this little experiment. Sometimes they turn out well, sometimes they don't. But I appreciate your time regardless. If you enjoyed this content, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I ordinarily upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And when I do a live stream, it's ordinarily on Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So until next time, take care and God bless. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? Yeah. Um, I have on some concealer, no, yeah, no. All I have is foundation on my face and a little bit of refreshing spray. Um, y'all, y'all, y'all. Um, all I have on my face is some why can't I talk? Like, why can't I talk? I don't say what's on my mind quite as much as you like me to. I've been hearing that my whole life I promised